it's Monica and welcome back to a new vlog. I'm so excited to kick this vlog off. I am out and about today. It is a stunning day. It's like almost 80, but it's not like humid or anything. It's just like the perfect weather. I did come to the very horrible realization that I have not left my apartment or seen sunshine in like a week. So I was like, I should really get outside. Honestly, a big part of this was I've been playing this game. I could finally talk about it. If you watched my last vlog, I talked about this game that I was playing that I couldn't talk about yet because it was embargoed, but I was loving it and was excited to share it with you guys. But that game is now out and it's called Pine Hearts and it's so cute. You, you play as this character called Tyke and you are wandering around and exploring the wilderness and uncovering memories and like solving puzzles and mysteries and it's just like really delightful but also it has like so much heart like once I realized what some of the memories were about it just like honestly brought me to tears so I've been playing that a lot and it's obviously it's set outside and like the end goal is that you go on this hike and it's just like made me really want to be outside so that is what I'm doing I want to spend some time outdoors because I think it's also gonna be like rainy the next few days so i wanted to get some of some sunshine in before it's cloudy out so i'm currently editing this video and i wanted to pop on just to actually talk a little bit more about pine hearts because i'm really excited that i'm actually working with them for this video and i'm excited about that because genuinely guys i think this might be my favorite game of this year so far and i say that like i genuinely mean that i am loving this game so much it is like what i feel like i've been looking for in a cozy game for so long i love quests i love doing quests i love meeting people and that is what this game is like at its heart in terms of like the actual gameplay you're going around to these different areas and you're meeting these different characters and you're completing quests for them and it's so fun and satisfying the best comparison I could give is that if you've played like any of the Zelda games it's like that but just the quests and it's crazy because I've had so many conversations with like other gamer friends about like wanting a game like that and I'm just really excited to have this one I also want to highlight one thing that really stood out to me is that as soon as you open the game they give you a bunch of different accessibility options and you're able to like make adjustments as you play the game too Every, like everything from having like a font specifically for people with dyslexia to you know having different coloring options and it's just really cool and I love that that is like baked into the game from the ground up. It just feels so thoughtful and I feel like that is the word that I would use to describe this game so perfectly. It's a pretty simple game but it just feels like every bit of it had so much love poured into it. So I mentioned earlier that in this game you're playing as this character named Tyke and you've basically found yourself at this state park and there's all different areas. There's like a campground and then there's the actual like mountain that you get to climb. I haven't made it quite there yet but what I love about this game is that you have all these different areas to explore every time I think I've like explored an area fully I'll like stumble upon some new really cool area but I also love that as you progress through the game and you complete quests and you find new memories you also unlock different abilities and once you unlock these different abilities when you go back to those old areas you're able to access and interact with those areas in completely different ways which I love because I feel like often in games once you've explored an area and you move you've moved on to the next one there's no real impetus to like take you back there and I love that in this game like you're constantly going back and forth to these different areas it's definitely like genuinely one of my new favorite games and I am so excited to continue playing it and hopefully hear from you guys who have played it and yeah I love it but yeah it really inspired me to just like want to get out and do things I feel like I've been really like forcing myself to stay cooped up in my apartment and just like try and get a ton of stuff done and like really focus on things which is good but I think sometimes I can be a little bit too extreme about that and I know just like not be a, a person like I stop like eating and I stop sleeping and I like just get really focused in on trying to be productive and I just want to spend the next couple of days like obviously still tapping in and doing some of these things that I have to do but also just like trying to you know just find some 
space for cozy activities like reading and playing my new favorite games. So yeah, thought I'd bring you along as I accomplish all of that over the next day or two. And today I'm looking for a place to eat my lunch because I stopped by this place called This Bowl, which if you are on New York City TikTok, you're probably familiar with it. Or if you're Australian, apparently it's an Australian restaurant. But they just opened one here and it's been very popular. There's like so many videos about how there's like crazy lines to go to the restaurant. But I went today and there was like not a queue at all. So that was a win. So got my this bowl and now I'm walking to Washington Square Park where I will eat it and chill and maybe play my game a bit. Um, definitely not worth like waiting in line for like there's so many like almost identical restaurants in the city <laughs> but it was tasty I had a good lunch so no complaints very happy that I went when there was no queue and I am excited though because I'm getting a new camera today I ended up trading in some other equipment so that I could get a new camera basically because I can't find my G7X None of my other cameras are really like practical for vlogging because they're just like too, they're, they, they don't have really good image stabilization or they're too bulky. And I really do not like vlogging on my iPhone. I just feel like the quality isn't very good. And I don't like having all of that footage like just in my camera roll. It just feels very cluttered and stressful. So I'm excited to go get this camera. Hopefully I'm able to pick it up today, but that's my other big plan. Guys, I'm absolutely melting. It's so hot. I like came into Cafe Grumpy to get a water and an iced chai because I like needed as much iced beverages as possible. I'm actually like, I don't know if you can hear me. Hopefully you can. Um, but I'm like very prone to fainting and like I just have really bad like temperature regulation and I forgot my water bottle at home and I didn't realize it until I was like I realized that I hadn't drank really any water today at all. And I was like, I'm going to pass out. <laughs> I like hunted down this cafe and I'm so happy I found it. Chai is like fine, but I really just needed water. Anyways, I picked up my camera and I'm so excited. I don't, I don't think I'm gonna do like, usually I do like an aesthetic unboxing, but this is used, so I feel like it's not really conducive to like an aesthetic unboxing, you know? So I'm just gonna open it. I actually don't think I'm gonna open this now because I just don't wanna like, if once I start, then I won't move from this spot for like hours. It's probably so like tapped in, but I'm so tired. I think I'm gonna sit here and my phone's kind of dying. So I'm gonna just like play my game on my Switch while I like, cool down from this very warm spring day. So right now my goal is to find the three queen bees. And I love this game because like you're exploring and you're meeting other people and you're solving puzzles but it's also like so chill guys i swear i feel like i'm melting right now but i got my camera so i guess we could do a little unboxing of it i'm so excited there's nothing like new a new camera to play with it's so much fun i'm so excited this i love that it comes with a pouch because the old one did not come with a pouch and that was like kind of annoying Ooh, and it's like got pockets that's so nice actually all right so here is the camera let's see if it has any charge to it it does ah, oh, there it goes that's so exciting this is the extra battery pack 
I just want to make sure everything's like in here that's supposed to be in here yeah this stuff like has definitely not even been opened and like it was so discounted for being used i think like my, the one thing and i knew this going in but for some reason they make it so that in order to attach this the little tripod thing you have to attach one of these you can't just attach it to this which is just seems like a bad product design but i'm sure there was a reason for it i'm going to play with this a bit and probably the next clip of this video will be on this so you guys will have to let me know if you like the quality more all right guys what do we think of the new camera i personally am already obsessed with it it's so much easier to film on than my phone i love having the screen again and i just feel like the quality is a lot better and just the like wide angle lens and the gimbal is so cool like look at this it's so smooth i love it so fun yeah i'm obsessed with this camera it's amazing so excited that i was able to do the trade-in and get this one just in general i feel like this is going to make creating vlogs and things so much easier and fun so very excited anyways it is like 8 p.m sun is setting and i have kind of just been chilling been catching up with kaylee my roommate and just talking about life and everything but I wanted to get in a bit more time with Pine Hearts because it's so cute and I like, it's all I want to do. I just want to play this game. So I'm going to play a bit of that. And then I think later tonight, once the sun is fully set, I am going to watch this show that I've just been hearing so much stuff about. It's called, I think, Maxton Hall or something. Anyways, someone on TikTok was saying that it was giving like Dramione vibes. So I was like, I simply must watch this show. So I'm very excited for that. So I think I'm going to start that tonight. But right now I just want to get in a little cozy gaming session. I feel like that is just exactly what I need. Hello lovelies. So I ended up falling asleep last night. I put on an episode of Maxton Hall and oh my gosh, I am absolutely obsessed. It is absolutely like it had to have been Dramione fanfic at one point, or at least the people who created the shows were very, very inspired by Dramione fanfic. There's even one character in it who looks like a fan art version of Harry Potter. It's very funny. Um, but the show itself is like amazing. Like, am I going to say it's good? No, it's so dramatic, so absurd, so over the top and cheesy and ridiculous, but it's so fun. I literally, I watched like one episode. I started the second one, but I was so tired last night. I just fell asleep. But it's a new day and I've kind of just been doing a lot of like admin-y things this morning. I applied for a few more jobs because I'm currently in that process right now. And I like, I don't know, I never feel like documenting that part of the day because it's usually just like me staring at a computer and typing. I think I am going to rework my resume because I, I've just been working off of a template that I've had for like many years and it's probably kind of outdated. Yeah, I'm feeling good about what I've done so far. So I think as a little treat, I'm going to head over to the Brooklyn Botanic Garden because it's one of my favorite spaces in the city. My roommate and I are actually members because we go so often and it's just so beautiful there. And I just want to like be amongst nature right now. I feel like, I don't know if it's like pine hearts or if it's just, you know, the seasons changing and like summer being around the corner, but I just like want to be outside right now. Let's all kindly ignore the mess behind me. I'm currently putting together a bag of stuff to take um, and donate soon, but just doing my makeup. I already put on my Sika pair, love of my life as a person with rosacea doing some spot concealing i've been using this it is from it cosmetics it's their i don't know if this is new or not but it's their natural matte cc cream and it has spf in it and i really love their the it cosmetics face products i just think they're really effective and usually i'm not a like matte coverage girly but in the summertime or when it's hot out and you know you're gonna be sweaty it's like the glowy stuff just is not gonna cut it. If only I could finish something, run straight through to the end, close the chapter, dignified.
happy right now. I really did not think I'd be able to see the bluebells. I thought bluebell season was over and it pretty much is, but there's one area that's still like full of bluebells and it, it's so beautiful. I've just like spent the last hour here just staring at them. <laughs> going to run some errands. I need to stop by Target because I'm out of conditioner. So I gotta go do that. And then I think I'm gonna try and find like a wrist strap for this camera. It came with one, but it was ugly. So pick this one. This is the one I currently have on my phone. Hi friends. So I am currently heating up leftovers for dinner, but I thought I'd do a little haul of what I picked up today. The first thing I got is this one of those little wrist straps. I did already attach it, so I can't show you the whole thing, but it's the one I showed you earlier. It has a little peach on it. It's adorable. It was like $3. Love that. And then I remembered that I had a Sephora gift card that I've been like hoarding for months and I finally spent it today. So I have a little Sephora haul. It was really nice. I've been on like such a like no buy recently, so it was just fun to go buy some stuff from Sephora. So I picked up a couple of things. Oh, I also got this is the conditioner I picked today it just smells like so good it's the brand is Odell and it was from Target it's their smoothing conditioner first thing I got is the Glossier strawberry balm.com this is my favorite lip balm of all time and I've been hoarding one that I've had since the original version got discontinued and they came out with a new version but that one is broken so i literally just have this like saran wrapped bomb.com that i've been like using for the past like year or so I finally came back with this version which is the original formula and now they're coming back fully with the original formula i love this balm and i'm so happy that it's back in my life also really appreciate the new packaging. I loved the original packaging, but this is definitely superior. And then I have been seeing this for so long. It's the Dinesa Myrick's Yummy Skin Blurring Balm Powder. And this is, it's like what it sounds like. It is a balm that turns into a powder on your skin. And it honestly i put it on at first and i was like i don't notice anything like did this do anything to my face and then like later on i was in the store because i only put it on like this side of my face and i was in the store and i was in a mirror and i was like why is this side of my face like completely poreless and like super smooth and this side isn't and then i was like oh my god it was that product so i went back and got it and it's not opening for me Ugh. I love a fresh cream product. I feel like this will be really nice for summer because it is not like a super glowy product and glowy products just tend to melt right off my skin. It's not super glowy. It is mattifying, but it's also not like really heavy. I feel like whenever something is like less glowy, it's a lot heavier and like high coverage. I'm just not a high coverage girly. And this is the other thing I got. This is from Patrick Ta and it is a blush in the shade Just Enough. And I, again, I tried this on in store and I just thought it was so pretty like on my face. And I was like, I think this has to be my new blush. And I think this is really cool. It two products. So you have the powder and the cream blush. And I just think that's really fun. And these three products all together were the entirety of my gift card, which is kind of crazy. But anyways, I'm going to go and heat up the rest of my dinner and probably watch another episode of Maxton Hall because I am obsessed. Hello, Ramona. 
I reach through mysterious ceilings, my holy hope. I look Good morning, my loves. It is like 10 a.m. and it is currently thunderstorming outside. I don't have really any huge plans today. This video is gonna go live, so I have to like prep all of that stuff, finish editing and uploading all of that. Um, but I am going home to Pennsylvania to visit my family tomorrow so I do need to like do some packing and like cleaning and stuff before I go and do that but yeah I'm excited anyways I'm gonna go finish editing this video and then pack to head home and I'll see you in my next one bye